Bill Brown's owner of the InfoSheets.com. And what I'm doing here today is I'm going to show you how to correct a name list so that it'll have uh, multiple columns for a name so that we'll be able to better use it. In other words, we want the last name in the first column, middle name, and uh, or rather first name and then middle name. And by having them in the right rows, we'll be able to better use them as a table. Uh, what's being shown on most uh, internet sites is a more formula-driven method, and this is actually using the text-to-columns method, which Excel has already programmed all those formulas in for you. So let's do it the simple way. Save us all some headaches, at least this time. Um, as you see, this name list has some problems. We have all these spaces, non-capitalization. Let me start by cleaning it up, and here is a nice formula here. And what this is doing is it's taking a proper name, meaning the first letter of each part of the name is capitalized, and it's also trimming out all the spacing. Um, and A1 is going to change to A2 and A3 as I copy and paste it. So there is our corrected name list, but these are still formulas, so let's copy them and paste them as special. And we're just going to choose the values. And by just choosing values, we won't get a circular warning uh, uh, message. And we'll also get rid of all these formulas here. So now we have a corrected name list. And we can better play with it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these. And I'll do the text to names, uh, columns rather. We're going to choose delimited, and we're going to use the space. And I'll just show you what will happen if we don't choose anything. Nothing. Now when we choose space, it separates it real beautifully, and that's exactly what we want. And finish that, and there we go. Now they're all in different columns. Perfect. But what we see is we see the middle column having both last names and middle names. So there has to be a way to separate those, and there is. If you look here in the C column, you see that a couple are blank. Let's use that to figure it out um, using an is blank uh, formula. And this one is almost there. It's a little off because of I copied and pasted it into the wrong location. And what it's doing is it's seeing if uh, if C1 is blank, and if it's blank, then there is no middle name, as we can see. But if it, if, uh, it has a name in it, then there is a middle name, and it's in B1. So there we go. Let's copy and paste that. And we fix that. Let's use that same formula, only change it a little, to uh, do the last names. And, but instead of, uh, if C1 is blank, that means that there is, uh, the last name is in B1. So let's fix that. And if C1 is not blank, guess where the last name is? It's in C1. That's why it's not blank. Let's copy that and paste that. And there's our last names, there's our middle names, and they're no longer combined in that middle column. So let's use our method of copy and paste special values only to get out the formulas again and get rid of the junk. Let's get rid of all this junk now. We don't need it. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to make some white space. I always like some white space around my tables. And I also like to label them or, or actually um, before we do that, let's move the last names to the first column. Okay, so now we have last names, first names, middle names. Let's label them. Last, first, and middle. Now we can make them into that nice table that we all we were shooting for. Insert table, 
Our table has headers. That's what we just showed you. And there we have our table. Let's go a little bit further with our example and show you how to make it a prettier table. And I don't know why I lost my... Well, one more there. Let's call our table a customer table. We'll pretend we actually have a job that's paying us to do this. <laughs> All right. 14 seems good. And we'll even make it bold. Now let's uh, put some other things around there. Let's try with a fill because we're using gray and a border that outlines. Okay, and there we go. So there we go. That's a really nice looking table. Let me show you a few features of the table just to make sure that you're sold on the whole idea. You can sort, and when you sort, they don't lose their data integrity. They stay in the same line. We can sort by any name. It helps us if we're trying to find uh, a person, we know their first name is John, blah, blah, blah. We know their phone number starts with a, with a certain prefix. So sorting is really nice. If we add someone, we we'll call him Jones, and we'll just say M. Uh, you notice how it changed color, uh, so it's keeping our table uh, moving forward so it can uh, be added to and it's not a dead table. Um, so you have to reformat every time you change something. So very useful. Let's resort A to Z. And we brought Jones back into our table. So we don't have to worry so much about um, trying to organize our data as we put it in, but rather just sort it after we're finished. And that's the advantage of this method. And I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I'm John Hillbrands with TheInfoSheets.com. And you have a good day. And I hope you make some uh, use of this project. Thank you. Bye-bye.